Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about the age gap in most churches. I've visited a lot of different churches over the course of my life when I've lived in different areas. Most of them have been like mainline Protestant denominations, but I've visited a few other ones, including a few Catholic churches, a few more evangelical churches too. And I've noticed something pretty disturbing in most of the churches that I visited, which is that there is a huge age gap. So in most churches you have kids from newborns up through about age 18, and then people just disappear. They're gone. And you start seeing people, mostly in their 30s, maybe a few people in their late 20s, and they start reappearing in the church, and then there are older people up through the elderly. And in a lot of churches, there is a real heavy load of elderly people. So there are, it's common to find churches where there aren't even all that many people in their 30s in the congregation. And to me, this is a sign of a problem. And sometimes it bothers me that people don't seem to really take this age gap seriously. Like, if I were involved in a church community, and the church had an age gap like that, especially if the community the church was located in did not have a corresponding age gap, I would be concerned about it, and I would want to do something about it. Now this can be different in different communities. There are certain towns and cities and such that similarly have an age gap like that. I've noticed this in suburbs, for example. A lot of suburban areas that are not near a college and that are a little farther from places of employment typically have that same age gap going on. And that's something that I don't like. It's something that I think is a problem in those communities, too. But for a church that's located in a community like that, I don't necessarily think that it's a problem that they can do much about because the people just aren't there. So this video is more targeted to churches that are in a community that have a lot of people in that age group, that like college age people, and also uh, young adults recently out of college, so like people in their 20s. These are the people that are missing from most churches. Uh, I know a lot of churches in this town that I'm in now, uh, Newark, Delaware, are, have this, this problem. Um, and it's a college town. The town itself is heavily skewed towards college students. And I've also seen it in, like, I lived in Lakewood, Ohio for some time, and Lakewood has a lot of young people there. Um, and the churches have a little bit more people in that age group than in some places, but it's, it's still not reflective of the community as a whole. And if you go to these churches, you notice some things. It's not just that the young people are missing. It's a specific demographic that's missing. In general, it's young single people that are missing. Uh, I lived in New Haven, Connecticut for a year when I went to Yale University, and in that city uh, I found a church that I liked and I started going to it, and I was kind of surprised that there were quite a few young people in the church. And at first I was really excited. I was like, this is really cool. It's one of the first times I had found this. And I started going to some of the events that were organized by the church's like young adults group. And I found there were a lot of people that were close to my age. And I realized at one of these gatherings, I was there and there were eight couples. And then there was me, and I was single at the time. And I'm like, this is a little weird. Like, the people were all either married or engaged or in serious long-term relationships. And I felt pretty out of place. I mean, like, when I'm single, like, I'm not exactly, like, looking all the time, but when I've been single, I don't want to exclusively hang out in groups where there are no single people, because I know I'm never going to meet anyone that way. And so I was sort of like, why are there no single people in this group? And I think in general, there might be like a degree to which this is self-perpetuating. Like, if people are single, they're not going to want to go to a place where there are no other single people. 
So right there, this is an issue that is of concern to me um, when I visit churches. So what's going on here? How can we address this issue? I want to bring up that I've seen a lot of churches where people claim to care about this issue, or maybe they do care about it, and they start talking about like, what can we do to attract young people, and so on. And in general, I've seen them do all sorts of stuff that I don't like, that actually is more likely to keep me out of the church. One of the things that I've seen a lot of churches do is to switch to contemporary style worship. So you'll have a church like a Lutheran or an Episcopal church that has a traditional liturgy with like hymns singing in harmony, it has the structure that has been passed down for generations of the church service, and I don't know about other people, but I love that stuff. I eat it up, I find it very meaningful on a spiritual level too, and I think it relates a lot to how I think. Like, I think the world is kind of complex, I value ancient traditions, and I don't want to listen to music that just seems watered down. Like, a lot of Christian praise music, to be honest, I hate it. It's just like, oh, I love Jesus, Jesus is so great, blah, 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 and there's like no content to it. Like, the harmony is totally boring, the melody is insipid, and the content of the words is just not very sophisticated. And I'm like, to me, like, I want to go to church and I want to experience spiritual growth. I want the church to challenge me, to challenge my way of thinking, and I want it to be deep. I want it to be rich. I want there to be a lot in the music. I want it to inspire a sense of awe and wonder, because that's how I experience personal growth, and that's what makes me feel comfortable in a church. So when I see these churches going down this like contemporary worship route to try to attract young people, at least for people like me, I think that's the wrong way to do it. What do I care about? Well, I already communicated some of it. I care about depth. I want churches to be on the cutting edge in society. I want them to be places of thought and engagement, and I want them to challenge me. I want them to challenge my way of thinking, to challenge my beliefs. That's not something I experience in most churches. I go, I've visited a lot of churches, and like, by and large, they're not places where I experience a lot of intense questioning and introspection and spiritual growth. Um, and that's really sad. Like, I think that's a failure. And I think that if churches really want to attract young people, I think they maybe need to examine the really deep stuff. Like, not just saying like, oh, we're going to change up the superficial aspects of the liturgy. It's like, maybe if churches were places of like, deep thinking and deep connection that would help people grow in really deep ways, then the people would start coming. What I see is like, a lot of people only start coming back to church when they start having kids, and I think a lot of church attendance, I think this is really unfortunate, I think a lot of it happens out of a vague sense of obligation, like, oh, I should go to church, and like, being, going to church makes me a good person. And I think a lot of that, frankly, is in contradiction to Christian values. Like, it's just, it's not something that is taught explicitly in churches, and it, it's at odds with the teachings of Jesus that you can find in the Bible, which emphasize sincerity of belief, and doing things because it's really right, not doing them to like, look good to others. And I think that this gap of young people in the church, I think it's reflecting of really, really deep problems in the church. And I think that if churches want to attract young people, they need to introspect, and they need to examine themselves and like especially examine that culture of obligation, going to churches, church out of obligation. Another thing is pressure. I know so many people who are pressured to get confirmed in the Catholic Church. I know people who are pressured to participate in various Protestant churches. That is just, that kills the community. That is, it's fake. You're not really going to church because you believe in it, because you want to experience spiritual growth. I don't want to go to a church that pressures 
their kids to go to church? That's just, it's awful, it's abhorrent to me, it's against my values. And yet this practice is super widespread, super mainstream in churches across America. So I want us to root this out. So like, yeah, this is how I feel about the age gap in churches. I think it's a problem, but I think it's a sign of really, really deep systematic problems in the church. I want to make clear, like, I am by no means anti-church or anti-religion in a sweeping way. I have attended churches that I just think are wonderful and that don't fall into these traps, and it's amazing. And that's one of the reasons why I'm making this video and I'm not being like, oh, all religion is bad, all church is bad, like, and I see some people doing that. I want people to start thinking about these things. So yeah, that's what I have to say now. Uh, sorry if that's a lot. I think this stuff is important though. I'd love to hear from you. Does any of this resonate with you? Do you have anything to add? Yeah, thank you.